What if gravity isn't just the bend of space-time, but the twist? Not just mass curving the cosmos, but spins threading it. Tiny quantum gyroscopes tugging on reality's fabric. Here's the hook. Anomalies. Clocks tick slower on airplanes. Neutron beams pick up a phase just from being spun or rotated. A decades-old claim of weight loss above a rotating superconductor sparked a frenzy and a lot of failed replications. Could aligned spins, extreme coherence, the quantum vacuum? Time first. I don't think time is a cosmic metronome. It's our measure of change. In relativity, motion and gravity stretch and squish time. Near light speed, near black holes, your seconds literally dilate. Cool matter toward absolute zero and classical motion fades. Yet the vacuum never goes silent. Quantum fields keep flickering. That hints that time might emerge from dynamics. How fields and particles dance, rather than existing on its own. Now gravity. Einstein's general relativity says mass energy curves space-time. Einstein Carton adds torsion, a corkscrew twist sourced by intrinsic spin. Fermions like electrons carry spin. Pack enough spin density and, in principle, you twist the affine connection of space-time. In our everyday world, torsion should be tiny. Yet at extreme densities, or with exquisitely organized spins, it might matter. We've seen hints that spin and rotation talk to space-time. The Mashoon spin rotation effect shifts neutron interferometer phases when you rotate the frame. Frame dragging, Earth's rotation drags space-time itself. Gravity Probe B measured that with superconducting gyroscopes to about 19% of prediction. Rotation shapes geometry? Could aligned spins do a whisper of the same? Enter superconductors. Near absolute zero, they lock into quantum coherence. Electrons pair up flow with zero resistance and expel magnetic fields via the Meissner effect. Perfect order. Some propose that such order could generate minuscule gravitomagnetic fields, or torsion. Bold, yes. NASA tried to replicate the famous weight reduction claims and found no effect. But superconductors remain ideal probes, ultra-stable, ultra-quiet, already proven in precision relativity experiments. Meanwhile, the quantum vacuum isn't empty. It gives mass through the Higgs field and may drive cosmic expansion. Think of space-time as a quantum fluid, gravity as its ripples. In labs, Bose-Einstein condensates and superfluids mimic horizons and expansions. Could spin-polarized materials, or coherent superconductors, slightly modulate the vacuum's response, tweaking torsion or curvature at detectable levels? How to test it? No hype, just experiments. High-precision gravimetry across superconducting transitions to look for transient anomalies. Atom interferometry with spin-polarized states to hunt spin-torsion couplings. Superfluid and BEC analogs to simulate frame-dragging-like responses. Casimir setups to see whether vacuum polarization shifts with controlled spin order. Polarized neutron beams or electron microscopy for microscopic torsion signatures. Most likely outcome? Null results that tighten the bounds. But if a tiny repeatable signal appears, we'd have a new handle on unifying quantum fields, spin, and gravity. Time from motion, gravity with twist, coherence as the amplifier. If the universe runs on spinning threads, the right experiment could catch them in the act. I'm chasing the data. Join the quest on X. Spinning Cosmos.